know what's fun is another area that uh, people like to do is they like to add cola or like ginger ale. Chasers. And I, I'm great with this. But I think that like if you are drinking this with uh, uh, Pappy Van Winkle, you're an idiot. <laughs> you know? Yes. Because you're not going to get the flavor of what you paid for. So when you're doing something with Coca-Cola or ginger ale, you get a nice bourbon. Yep. But you don't need to spend a lot of money for it. It's kind of a ubiquitous category. And I would rather see bourbon being consumed with, with colas than Crown Royal um, or some of the scotches out there. So let's give this a whirl. We can really use the same thing we had here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I generally don't do Diet Coke, Well, but uh, here we go. We're on a diet today. That's right. Oh, yeah. Hear the fizzing? All right, I'm nosing in. I get a lot of ginger ale notes. <laughs> what see, do you I, think? Uh, I actually, I'm getting <laughs> Barton out of that. Smell that. Oh, yeah. Isn't that something? That brings me back to uh, college days. College. You know, tailgating, sneaking... Sneak in the whole pint for the football game, and you just dump the entire thing in your drink, you know, just to get through the, the game, you know. I, what, do you, what do you think? That's good. Good stuff. I know. The, the problem with, the problem I have with mixing, I don't judge anybody that mixes. For me, personally, when I mix bourbon with soft drinks, it's like candy, and it's yeah. like I can't regulate the control. Whereas if I'm drinking a neat, I know exactly what I'm drinking. This is dangerously delicious. Did I, I just say that? You, you did. Everyone always thinks I'm uh, uh, like I'm just drinking straight whiskey all the time. You're a and, bourbon god. And well, no, <laughs> no, uh, I'm not. And 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 they like they are nervous about drinking around me sometimes. And yeah. like when I do, like a, I actually do a lot of highballs. Yeah. Um, and uh, I don't do coke as much, but I do highballs. And people are always like, wow, okay, so it's cool for me to do this. I'm like, yeah, absolutely, drink bourbon however you want to. But just know that the more money you spend and you mix with cola, yeah, man, that puts you in a little bit of the Darwin effect for in the bourbon world. Like, it's if we see that, it kind of hurts, you know, because those bottles are hard to come by and you're putting it with Coke. Yeah, so spend more money on the cola than yeah. less on the bourbon. No, I'm kidding. Get, get, well, actually, you're not far <laughs> We're off. We're kind of there, yeah. So when you're drinking, when you're drinking um, something for cola, you know, something like Very Old Barton is, is going to be a good fit. Knob Creek is going to be a good fit. Regular Jim Beam. So if you're going to drink cola, I really highly recommend. If you're going to do a cola and whiskey, Very Old Barton and Diet Coke is a Beautiful combo. Look, I prefer ginger ale and Knob Creek, <laughs> not the Barton and Cola. <laughs> Actually, I didn't taste the Knob. I didn't taste yours. Oh yeah, here, try it. It's much better, even though I didn't taste yours either. Yeah. Right, let's glass swap. Oh damn, I prefer <laughs> Knob Creek and ginger ale. See, this is a really nice combo. Yes. So that's uh, that's a little bit of. Uh, how to to drink like how a, to make a highball? How to make a highball? Yep. How to drink like in the un, in the non pretentious fashion? So the regular way. Cheers, regular folks. Like normal stuff. Yep. Yeah.